Welkom bij hierdie episode van Ontdek, onthou om te gaan subscribe en op die klokkie te druk om dadelijk te laat weet word wanneer onze nieuwe video vrystel. Geniet hierdie episode. Ok, so we are here today with by Charlie. Can you please tell us about more about yourself and what you have here and yeah. Ok, I came to Fixburg in 1987 after being an engineer in Natal. And when I got to the farm, I realized that if I stuck to just plain farming, I wouldn't survive, so I better do something to augment my income. And we had an orchard with a lot of fruit in it, so I started uh, playing around with that. And uh, I got some cherries and put them in brandy. And uh, when I got a drum full of them, I phoned the Royal Hotel in Durban, where I used to go quite often when I was in Natal and asked them whether they'd like to buy these to have as a dessert in there. It was a five-star hotel. And they said, well, if we like them, we'll buy them. So I went down and they bought it. And the next year they bought four drums, and the next year they brought about 12 drums. So that pretty well got me going. And uh, from putting cherries into alcohol, the cherry shrinks, so you always have an excess of the liquid, which I then turned into a liqueur. Uh, so I started producing cherry liqueur and I went to my first cherry festival and I saw it sold very well so I expanded that as well so from from the cherry you got two products really you got the excess was sold as a liqueur and the rest was sold as a dessert Um, and then I started using the Napoleon cherries which are uh, normally not even sold on the market they are used for producing glacé cherries uh, but they also produce uh, uh, what becomes uh, maraschino, uh, which is from the white cherry. It's, it's very clear in colour, it's not the really dark red. Uh, and then I tried distilling some of the cherry wine that I'd made, and that became the Kirsch, and making a stronger version of the liqueur became the cherry schnapps. And so the thing went on and on, and I made some from the cherry pips, which had an almond flavor, and called that uh, Kirsteinwasser. Uh, and then I thought, well, let's try the leaves as well. And I put a lot of herbs. The leaves have got no flavor. But with a lot of herbs, uh, that became the Blattermeister, which is a little bit like a Jägermeister. Okay. So that, that was uh, pretty well the, uh, the cherry alcoholic beverage range but also my cherry jam and I put had the brandy cherries which was the first product and then uh, bottling them cherries and syrup and then you get an excess of the liquid which I thickened up and sold as a syrup and then I made a cherry chutney and spice cherries and and so it slowly grew and then a couple of years ago there wasn't much more to do on the cherry so I started making Vandaham and some book uh, and uh, uh, honey and herb liqueur and raisin brandy. So that's pretty well where we are now. Yeah, that's quite a bit. And uh, what is your favourite? Do you have a favourite liqueur? Uh, well, I try to make all of them as nice as I can. Yes. You know, I think some people try and produce as cheaply as they can, and I think that's the wrong way. You must try and make it as as well as you can, yes. and then see what it works out at. Uh, so no, I don't think I've got a favourite. I think the, fa- the, the, the best seller is the cherry liqueur because everyone when they say Fixburg, cherries, cherry liqueur is the first thing that comes to their mind. Yes. But uh, you know, uh, one has to increase your range to cover all the various tastes. For some people say the maraschino is far too sweet, but some people love it. And uh, the people that like the stronger stuff will enjoy a schnapps. Uh, and the other ones will, you know, the, the alcohol percentage varies from 25% up to 43%. So somewhere along the line of the various products, some will say, oh, this one I like. So in other words, you can cover everyone. Gaan luister is jou bezigheid by www.dodek.co.za en as jy enige digitale bemarkingen op nodig het, kontak ons geris. Gaan subscribe en sien jou volgende keer.